Hi, hello. Welcome back to Needs of Children. In this session, we are going to get the information about 10th Standard Social Science English Medium History Unit Number 1 Advent of Europeans to India. Before we are going to get the information, if you are watching for the first time our channel, please subscribe for more informative videos. Let's come to the advent of Europeans to India. Learning points. What are the very important learning points from the lesson? The trade and commerce relationship in India had with Europeans. The arrival of Europeans to India for trade. The Carnatic Wars in the backdrop of European political developments. The Battle of Plassey, Battle of Buxar and dual government system. The British policy of aggression. So these are the learning points from the lesson advent of Europeans to India. There were trade and commerce relationship between India and Europe since ancient times. There was great demand for Indian spices like pepper, cardamom, ginger and many other spices in Europe. The trade relationship continued between India and Europe and other Asian countries during Middle Ages. The Arab merchants carried the Asian merchandise into Constantinople of Eastern Roman which was under the control of Byzantium Empire. Italian merchants would buy these goods and then sell in European countries. Like this Constantinople was the center of international business and considered as the gate of European trade. So, Constantinople become. Now, you can see in the map where exactly the Constantinople is locating. So, that Constantinople is become Europeans as the gate of European trade. While Arab merchants had gained monopoly over the trade in Asian countries, Italian traders had gained monopoly over trade in Europe. While Arab merchants had gained the monopoly over the trade in Asian countries, Italian traders had gained the monopoly over trade in Europe. The merchandise from Asia had brought good profits to Italian merchants. The reasons for the discovery of new sea route to India. Among that, the first one, the fall of Constantinople. What were the reasons for fall of Constantinople? I think you have been studied in 9th standard even though let us come to the what are the reasons for the fall of Constantinople. In 1453 the Ottoman Turks captured the city of Constantinople. As a result all the trade routes connecting the city of Constantinople came under the control of Turks. The Turks started levying too many taxes on the goods passing through these routes. As a result, the merchants felt that the trade was not profitable. Meanwhile, Spain and Portugal were attempting to break the monopoly of Italian traders. They started encouraging religious sailors to find a sea route to India. The invention of campus, astrolopes and gunpowder provided further impetus to this venture. New sea route to India was Coda Gama, the Portuguese sailor who left Lisbon and reached Kappadu near Calicut on the east coast of India in 1498. Thus, 
the Europeans dream to find out the sea routes to India as well as Asian countries it is come to true. This route continued to be the route of trade between India and Europe for many years. Like this Portuguese were the first to re-establish trade between India and Europe. European trade companies to India. Let us come to the which are the European companies came to India and settled in this place. With success of Portuguese many Dutch, French and English arrived at India for trade. This development not only changed the history of India, it also changed the history of European countries. Portuguese were the first to arrive at India for the trade were also the last to leave India on the sea route. After Vasco da Gama, Francisco de Almeida arrived in India as the Viceroy of Portuguese. He implemented blue water policy in order to establish the supremacy over the sea instead of supremacy over lands. So after that Alfonso de Albuquerque who came after Almeida is considered as the real founder of Portuguese empire in India. He waged a battle against the Sultan of Bijapur in 1510 and own Goa. You can identify the place of Goa in the map it is showing. Goa became the administrative center of Portuguese administration in India. The Portuguese had absolute monopoly over trade with the India for almost a century and their power declined with the arrival of English and French in India. And the next uh, one more the European company that is Dutch. Dutch are Dutch company in India 1602 with the aim of doing business with eastern countries and entered countries like in India the Dutch company came into existed in 1602 with the aim of doing business with eastern countries and entered countries like India, Java, Sumatra, Indonesia and uh, very importantly spices rich islands. They choose spices rich islands. They established warehouses in Surat. Can you identify the places in map? Surat, Brach, Kambay, Kachin, Nagapatnam, Masali Patnam and Chinsor other places in India. These are the warehouses which were established by Dutch. With this they broke the monopoly of Portuguese in India. Later unable to face competition from English and French. Thus Dutch limited themselves to spice rich islands. After the Dutch the one more very important the company that is British East India Company. In 1600 December 31st Queen Elizabeth issued a royal charter authorizing East India Company to trade with eastern countries for 15 years. The company started the business formally in 1613. The Mughal Emperor Jahangir issued a royal permission. That means our Indian ruler Mughal Emperor Jahangir he gave the permission. He gave the royal permission to English to establish their first warehouse or factory at Surat. In 1617 Sir Thomas Rowe arrived at the court of Jahangir as the royal ambassador from the court of 
James I. He sought permission from Jahangir to establish factories in other places of Mughal Empire. English established factories in Agra, Ahmedabad and Broch. In 1639, English took Madras from the king of Chandragiri and established a strong fort named Saint George Fort. Later, Charles II, the Prince of England, gave Bombay as an annual rent for 10 pounds a year to the East India Company in 1668. In 1690, the English purchased the three villages named Sautanati, Kalikata and Govindapura on the banks of Hooghly River and built Fort William. The city of Calicutta grew around this fort. In 17th century, the English had established Bombay, Madras and Calcutta as the centers of their presidencies. What they are purchased as the villages on the banks of river Hooghly in further days, these are become as a Bombay, Madras and Calcutta. By the later part of 18th century, the English made Calcutta as their capital city. They implemented their own civil and criminal procedure codes in the areas that were under their control. So, after the British East India Company, French. French East India Company started as a government owned company in 1664. It started its first factory, Surat, in the year 1668. Later, they established its factories in Masalipatnam, Chandranagara, Mahe, Karaikallu, Kasim Bazar, Balasur. In these places, they established their factories. In 1674, the French Vadikanandapuram from a local Muslim officials developed it as a major trade center. That center is Puducherry or Pandicherry. So, in further future days, we used to call it as Puducherry or Pandicherry. So, here the French East India Company behind that the person name called as Duplex who arrived in pa Pandicherry as the governor general of French had the high ambitious of establishing French as the major power in South India. This ambition led to Carnatic Wars with the English. Okay, so that's it uh, today's class. In next classes, we are going to get uh, the Carnatic Wars. What are the, the competition between English and French? With this, there will be a Carnatic Wars. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Until keep watching my channel.